A disgraced former Charlotte mayor and convicted felon now wants your vote again. Former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon, who was convicted of taking bribes while in office, is now on the ballot to run for Charlotte City Council. Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy broke this story. She joins us live at the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections tonight. Robin, Patrick Cannon reached out to you earlier. What did he have to say? Brian and Alicia, Patrick Cannon says he wants a second chance. Now, this is a man who sold the mayor's seat and took bribes while he was in office. And now he's running for Charlotte City Council again. A chance for redemption is all I can ask for. That's what former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon, a convicted felon, wrote to me on the day he filed to run for Charlotte City Council, a position he held for years before he was convicted of pocketing money and gifts from a strip club owner and FBI agents posing as business investors in exchange for favors in Cannon's city government positions. I regret having hurt the city. That, I love. that was Cannon right after he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to more than three and a half years in federal prison. But he got out early in September 2016, doing almost two years behind bars for selling the mayor's seat. Patrick Cannon betrayed the citizens of Charlotte through his bribery scheme, and today he paid the price for that. Cannon was sentenced in 2014. Then U.S. Attorney Ann Tompkins also wrote, Patrick Cannon embarrassed the city he was elected to serve. Now he wants to serve those same voters. On Friday, the former Charlotte mayor convicted of taking more than $50,000 in bribes while he was a city councilman and mayor filed to run for a Charlotte City Council at-large seat. Whether or not it turns into people coming out on May 17th is another question. So I, I just count the votes. I let people vote. I don't pick winners or losers. On Friday, Cannon also wrote to me, quote, can we as a community send a message to anyone that has fallen short to say we are a city and or a people of second chances? And now it will be up to the Charlotte voters to see if Patrick Cannon, the former mayor of Charlotte, is elected to the at-large city council seat. That election and the primary is May 17th. Reporting live at the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. Yeah, we know, you know Patrick Cannon has got a, a real passion for public service, but it will be interesting to see how voters respond to him on the campaign trail. Robin, thanks. Well, Patrick Cannon is joining an already crowded field of candidates running for the Charlotte at-large seats. You may recognize a, a lot of these names on the Democratic side. Braxton Winston, Dimple Ajmera are the current at-large council members. Larkin Eggleston, currently representing District 1. Lawana Mayfield served on the city council until 20. 19. James Mitchell uh, also filed today. He stepped down from the council last year because of ties to a company the city was doing business with. And on the Republican side, it has five candidates as well. David Rice ran for Charlotte mayor in 2019, but lost in the general election. The other candidates have ties to Charlotte business as well. And voters will pick four candidates for each party in the primary to narrow the field down to eight in November's general election for the field. That'll be narrowed down to fill four at-large city council seats.